If you've ever been to an amusement park, you probably noticed that there's motion and there are forces everywhere. And there's so much physics here. I'm going to explain it to you in the next few episodes. On Thunder! Who doesn't love a roller coaster? Well, I don't. I actually think they're terrifying, but that's beside the point. Roller coasters are a great example of what we scientists call energy conversion. See, when you're going up, up, up in a roller coaster, getting winched higher and higher, well, we say you're gaining potential energy. The higher it goes, the more potential energy due to gravity it has. And then when you get released, we say that potential energy gets converted into kinetic energy. Right now this roller coaster is doing work, and it's giving me potential energy. So the higher I go, the more potential energy due to gravity there is available for me. So getting higher and higher, we're high. And now that potential energy is being turned into kinetic energy! It's the same way it works with this uh, green little bouncy ball here. Now, right now, I'm holding it up in the air, and we say it has potential energy due to gravity, because gravity could potentially pull it down and give it energy, but it's not because I'm holding it, so potential energy. And when I drop the ball, we say that potential energy is converted into kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is the energy that all moving things have. Potential, potential, potential! Potential! Can 